Okay, hi guys. So this is your tutorial six for your topic three, heat and thermal insulation in building. Okay, so there's uh, only five questions here. The first few question is a theory question. So for the first question, you have to briefly explain the following terms and list its symbol and units. So the first one is the uh, thermal conductivity, which is represented by lambda, this symbol. And it's measured, it's a measure of a rate at which heat is conducted through a particular material under specific condition. So the unit is what over meter Kelvin or either a Celsius. So the second one is a thermal resistance. R is a measure of the opposition to heat transfer offered by a particular component in a building element. So the symbol is a R for resistance. So the unit is meter square uh, Kelvin over Celsius over watt. So this symbol is either depending on your question given. Lah. If the question give it to you in Celsius, then it will be a C. If it's given in a Kelvin, then it will be a K. Lah. Okay, so continue on. So the thermal transmittance, which is a U value, is, measured, is a measure of the overall rate of heat transfer by all mechanism under standard condition through a particular section of contraction. So it is the inverse of thermal resistance. So U equals to one over R resistance. So lower U value means better thermal insulation. So the symbol for this is a U. So this is an inverse of a thermal resistance. So how good the transfer of heat from uh, material. So the lower it is, the better it is the thermal insulation. Okay, so for question two, you have to list out the three general types of thermal resistance that make up the total thermal resistance. So there's three components which make up the thermal resistance of a material of a building. So the first is the material resistance, second is the airspace, and then finally we have your surface resistance. So this tree makes up the total resistance of a building. So question three, so this is a calculation part. Lah. So you have a cavity wall, its construction as follow. You have a brick wall, uh, you have a brick work with an outer leaf of 103 mm, with an air gap of 50 mm. So this is your airspace gap. And then you expanded insulation board of 50 mm, lightweight concrete block, block inner leaf of 150 mm and uh, plaster 10 mm so you have a lot of component or layer to this brickwork so all this brick, uh, layer the u the thermal conductivity value is given as followed so for brickwork is 0.84 and then concrete 0.16 and as follow uh, and you have the standard thermal resistance in meter square, which is for the outer surface 0 0.06, inside surface 0 0.12, and the air gap 0 0.18. So you have to calculate the U value of this wall. So if you were to draw it in perspective, you'll be able to better understand on how this layer are done. So you have the outer surface, which is on the outside, uh, outside surrounding, and inside is a building. So you have an inside surface, and then inside surface you have a 10 mm plaster board, and then you have your concrete block, and then you have your insulation, and then you have your cavity. So this is your air gap, and finally you have your brickwork. So this is how a a cavity wall is construction is constructed lah. So you may use this as an example for your assignment. Okay, so you can tabulate all the information because you have a lot of layer and different different type of thickness. Then you also can you also given all the thermal conductivity, which is a lambda, and you have to find out the thermal resistance of all these different different components in the brickwork. So to put it you can put it all in and then you'll get a thermal resistance of 
3.178 so for external surface and internal surface they are not mentioned you can put it in also but they'll be very thin lah. but usually you don't need to mention it there's a standard thermal conductivity for it so this you uh, to find the external surface and also the internal surface this is standard lah from the table you can obtain from the table so to find out for the rest which is the brickwork then you have to use the this formula the resistance r equals to d which is the thickness of the component multiplied by the thermal conductivity this lambda so 0 0.1 for brickwork r equals to the resistance is r equals to 0 0.103 which is the thickness of the brickwork divide by the thermal conductivity which is 0 0.84 so you get 0 0.123 so you repeat that for all the information that you have and then after that you can sum all of this resistance up so all this resistance is the uh, all this resistance once you sum up this is the value which is the total resistance of the thermal resistance for your wall <clears throat> so finally you want to find the u value so you know that your u value is just uh, inverse of your resistance uh, which is 0 0.315 so the lower it is the better it is uh. so this is how you calculate the u value of this wall okay so next question which is you have a block of wall measured 5 meter with 2.8 so a uh, five meter uh, five meter long wall and a two point eight meter height wall. So the wall has a uh, one window which is one point four times eight uh, zero point eight meter, and then a door of one point nine meter by zero point seven five meter. So the U value of all this material is for block work zero point five eight, window five point six and door 3.4 so this is represented by this so you have a door here which is 1.9 in height 0 0.7 in width a window a block of this so this is a composite component so you have different different material in a in a single wall so you are given the u value of the block work which is 0 0.58 window 5.6 and door 3.4 which is this lah. so with that you need to find out the area you need to find out the area first which is just a multiplication of the area given for the area for the brickwork 5, 5 meter multiplied by 2.8 and then you need to minus out these two components so you get for area for your brickwork is 11.45 window 1.12 and your door is 1.42 so you are to use this formula which is to get your average of your u value so by multiplying them into it together you'll be able to get your u value average is 1.27 so this formula should be familiar to you from the topic 2 okay next we have our final question so a domestic pitch roof of tile on felt stacking, stacking with a plasterboard ceiling has an existing U value of 1.9. So you have to calculate the minimum thickness of fiberglass insulation, given that the you want to have a 0 0.25 U value. And you're given the thermal conductivity of the fiberglass is 0 0.04. So with all this information, you want to find out what is the thickness required for your fiberglass to insulate your building to reduce the u value of this building from 1.9 to 0 0.25 so a uh, fiberglass is a uh, fiberglass insulation is this if you live in the landed house uh, you will be able to actually see this lah if you are to actually to open up your roof so there will always be this fiberglass insulation if you are living on a landed but you will have to open up your uh, your ceiling uh, your highest floor ceiling roof to see this fiberglass insulation 
So it will be something like this. You want to find out how thick your fiberglass is. So you are you know that your existing U value is 1.9 and you want to get the new value which is 0 0.25. So with the existing resistance, using uh, to find out the existing resistance, RT, you just use a formula. Lah. RT equals to 1 over the U value. So you just move them around, you get this. So your targeted resistance is 1 over 0 0.25. So you just, you get four. So extra resistance required, you just minus them together. You get 3.47. And then material resistance, you just get the R equals to the thickness over the lambda. This is the required U value. So you get 0 0.8675 meter. So you convert it, you'll be 867 mm. Lah. So this is just a usage of the formula of the material resistance, which is this, and also the U value, U value formula. So with that, by playing around with this formula and getting the extra resistance, the which is this, you'll be able to find out what is the minimum minimum thickness of the fiberglass. So hope you guys understand. That's about it. Thank you.